430. Okay, you guys, you've probably heard of the Atkins diet, the paleo diet. There are all sorts of diets out there. But when we heard about a diet based on your blood type, we wanted to find out what it's all about. It seems almost like crazy talk, doesn't it? <laughs> well, here to explain the Dean of Nursing at Rasmussen College, Stephanie Yackley. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. 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 I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so what is this whole thing? I mean, you, you know, you hear all the fad diets. You're yep. a nurse, and you say there really is something to this blood type diet. There is, there is, and now that finally summer is here, yeah. believe it or not, here in Minnesota. Um, this diet is created by Dr. Um, Peter Diatomo. Okay. And he claims that you should eat your food based on your blood type. Okay. Um, versus just eating what you enjoy. And so what's the, what's the reasoning behind this? Why is your blood type important to what you eat? Well, certain blood types have the digestive system works in a different way. Oh. So for instance, there are four blood types, blood type O, blood type A, blood type B, and then blood type AB. Mm -hmm. So blood type O kind of has a slower metabolism, they have metabolic issues, and you oh, tend sorry, to gain... I'm an O. Oh, man. And you tend to gain weight much easier. And that's the most common blood type, so many people are type blood type O. Okay, so people relate to that. And so if you are an O, what should you be eating? What's best for you? You brought some examples, right? I did. So I decided to have them cook up um, some walleye today, the mm -hmm. Minnesota fish. Go catch it nice. in a lake. Yeah. Um, clean it up and off. grill it. That's right. Once the ice <laughs> is off. Um, and that is high in protein. Okay. Then also I had a sweet potato, which has some potassium, which is good for your heart and your bones. Uh huh. And then roasted vegetables, which are high in antioxidants and help decrease the cholesterol. And so, okay, uh, one would might argue this is probably looking like a healthy meal to me, no matter okay, what your blood right. type is. So, so what particularly about for the O person does this does stands out about this? Well, the O person is supposed to stay away from um, dairy and um, grains. Okay. So the meats are easier for them to digest. So that's why this is different than okay. some of the others. Okay. Okay. So sense. let's talk about some of the other blood types. In so the blood type A has a really sensitive stomach. Mm -hmm. oh. They are have some. Restrictions. Which so, one am I? I don't know. Yeah. Let's, let's use reasoning and figure out by looking at the food types and maybe we can figure out. I don't know. Cool. Doesn't it? I need the pricker tester thing. Okay. So, <laughs> so what else about go, the <laughs> So they recommend a vegetarian diet for the blood type A. Okay. So I recommended um, some vegetable soup, which is high in vitamins and minerals. Some whole grain toast, mm -hmm. which has insoluble fiber. So which compare that to the O, who they're not going to do as well with the grains. grains yeah. correct. Mm -hmm. And the insoluble fiber will keep us regular, which we all want to be regular. That's right? very true. But yes, we do. And oh, then the God. green bean salad, which is high in vitamins um, A, B, and C. So it's a really high vitamin um, type. Now, that is yeah. kind of a big thing to tell somebody that just based on a blood type that they should not be eating any meats, that they're going vegetable. Yep. I'm, sure you don't, I'm sure that's kind of a, a, a train of thought, but you don't necessarily want to change your whole lifestyle. Exactly. And before you start any diet, always check with your physician, okay. no matter what. Eat foods in moderation. And you should try to eat foods that contain all of the food groups, which sure. is meats, vegetables, fruits. Um, grains and dairy. Okay. So you should try to incorporate those um, all the time, but then some that are restricted, you know, just so less on those. Okay. Yeah. And then what's the next blood type? Blood type B. Um, blood type B. This blood type, which happens to be me, oh. you can eat pretty much anything you want. Look at you. <laughs> oh, you like I know, I know. Um, but you want to stay away from processed foods. So um, I recommended a lamb, which is high in iron. Nice. Um, a green salad, which is bursting with the vitamins and minerals that we need. A little um, low-cal dressing makes mm -hmm. it super tasty. And then some cottage cheese, which is low in calories and high in protein. Okay. And it has the dairy in there, too. And, so. But these people tend to be gluten-sensitive. Is that true? Um, they sometimes can be gluten-sensitive. Okay. Yep. But, but then, not everybody. Yeah. Yep. So that's important. So yeah. Elizabeth, I'm thinking we're just going to go with B for you then. I so don't know. So should be your blood type? Maybe. Based on what you see know. here. What do you do with your AB and what do the positives and negatives have to do with? Well, AB is the fourth blood type, which we don't have here, but it's a happy medium between the A and the B. Although they do recommend you stay away from chicken, pork, and beef because okay. that's hot, hard to digest. And this basically kind of all boils down to eating the foods that help your body work the right way so you can be in the you know the best shape that you can be just based on your yep. diet? Obviously we always want to recommend exercise. Mm -hmm. um, again in moderation don't go crazy um, trying to slim down really fast but um, 
Dr. Peter Diadimo claims that this will make you heart healthy, make you big and strong, mm -hmm. and then he'll also help you lose weight. Well, so We need to ask about this. Of course you've got this nice shirt. Oh, yes. I mean, we haven't mentioned it yet. But For National I Nurses heart Week. Nursing. Yep. <laughs> yep, we created these. Oh, sure. medical I mean, I really humor, you guys nursing. are hilarious. Yep, yep. <laughs> and you gave all of our nurses here one of these t-shirts? I did, yep, we're giving all the nurses here. Thank you so much. Really interesting, interesting stuff to think about. Um, for more information on the blood type diet and Rasmussen College, go to TwinCitiesLive.com and click on food. And, of course, we thank Rasmussen College for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. And we have more TCL coming up. What's your blood type? Oh.